Hi, I'm Rich Brown for CNET. Today we're going to talk about the Digital Storm Bolt. So as you can see, this is a slim tower desktop, and it's actually a really fast gaming PC. So this review unit runs about $1,600, and it's a fixed configuration. You can make a few tweaks, but for the most part, what you see on the configurator is what you get here. So this is a tidy little design. It's about the same size as what we've seen from Falcon Northwest and Alienware and their other slim tower PCs. And it's actually not that bad looking. There's some fins down here to keep it stable so it doesn't rock from side to side. You can see on the front, there's the DVD drive. As well as here on the side, there's some USB ports. You've got USB 2, USB 3, as well as standard analog audio. Now on the back of the case, there's a pretty straightforward array of ports. You've got USB 2 here as well, some Ethernet jacks, 7.1 audio, as well as digital SPDIF audio output. You've got a couple wireless uh, antenna jacks right here. There's USB 3 down here, as well as old school PS2 if you have an older uh, input device like a joystick or something. Up here in the graphics card, you've got two DVI outputs, as well as HDMI and DisplayPort out behind these little plugs. So there's no exotic port like Thunderbolt on the system, but with what you get, you can connect the system in any standard desktop or living room setup. So that makes it pretty versatile and lets you take advantage of its small size. So I'll go inside the case, but before I do that, I'll point out that it's actually kind of a pain. The cover slides off, and it gets stuck sometimes on some of the internal components. There's some wires here. There's a screw down here that gets in the way when you put it back on. So it looks pretty good on the outside. If you like to tinker inside your PC, you might be annoyed and wish Digital Storm had paid a little bit more attention to the design. So on this side of the case, you can see there's a GeForce GTX 660 Ti graphics card. So that's a nice, fast card. You can see it's a double-wide card, and it's got the power connectors up here. And that will let you play pretty much any PC game in the market right now. In our test, it did really well on uh, Far Cry 2 and some older titles that have built-in benchmarks. Anecdotally, we were playing Crisis 3 and Far Cry 3 at really high resolutions and high image quality and had no problems with the frame rate. So you might hit the limit of this system before you would on a higher-end PC. At least you can know that any game you want to play today will have no problem. So on this side of the case, you can see here's the CPU behind this giant fan. Note there's not liquid cooling like we've seen on some of these slim towers, and that helps keep the price down. There's a Core i7-3770K CPU here, so that's overclockable, and Digital Storm has set the CPU speed to 4.1 gigahertz. Now, it's not quite as fast as we've seen elsewhere, but again, it's fast enough for most gamers, and especially considering the price, it's not uh, too slow. It's sort of hard to tell, but there's two memory sticks here for 8 gigabytes total. You don't have a lot of expansion room, so you have to deal with that. That's kind of a no limitation of these slim tower systems. Although, you do actually get a fair amount of hard drive space. So here's the hard drive stack. And there's one 500 gig drive in the back. It's a standard mechanical drive. In front of that, you have a 120 gig solid state drive here that has the operating system for fast booting. You can also add one more solid state drive here. In Digital Storm, even wired the data and power connector is exactly where you'd want it if you were going to add a new drive. So if you're a truly demanding PC gamer and you want to play at high resolutions on multiple monitors, this is probably not the system for you. But if you're looking for a lean and mean PC for a relatively affordable price, the Digital Storm Bolt can certainly get you up and running on any PC game you want to throw at it. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the Digital Storm Bolt.